Hey guys and welcome to the first video of Ploxa Games Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie FPS Game Series. In this episode we will be setting up the scene and starting a basic health system. If you don't already have Unity you can download it at unity3d.com and all you need to do is click on the download tab and then click download. I've already got that downloaded and installed and when you run it you should get this window. So what you want to do is just run it and create a folder, so browse, create some folders, um, put it wherever you want it and then just select that. And we'll keep this as 3D and we'll just import the character controller for the time being. So click create and that should do its thing. Um, it does take a while depending on how many um, asset packages you in you import. Um, so you, I only imported one; didn't take very long. So what you want to do when you first get in is just delete this camera. We don't need him at the moment, but I'll just explain this Unity just for the people who don't really know. So essentially, this is the this is the scene. This is where you'll be editing things, changing things, placing things, whatever. Um, all in here. This is where you put things for the game. Um, then going over to the game tab, this is where the um, the game is displayed. So what the game looks like in as you as if you're playing it. But it's actually great at the moment because we don't have any cameras because we just deleted that one. Um, then over here in the spectre is where well actually I'll just quickly create something. Um, is where all the if you select an object it'll display all the components and scripts that are already attached to it and you can add components and whatever drag things on and that'll, that's the way to edit that um, then over here down here is the console where it displays errors and logs and, and warnings and anything like that um, next to that is the assets um, f the project f settings file folders sorry and that's where our imported assets went and this is where we create folders and scripts and whatever this is where we save everything um, just above that is the hierarchy where it displays everything that's in the game so if I create a capsule now there's a capsule and a cube in the game as you can see here and it displays both of them over here so we don't need them at the moment we'll just delete them and that's about it I think so let's just get into it so what you first want to do is create a folder and call that scenes so we can save our scenes and one more just for this episode and create one called scripts so what you want to do is go file save project and then file save scene and then just go into the scenes folder and save that as test um, scene I suppose yep. and that is now in the test scenes folder in the scenes folder so we don't need that at the moment, that's, that's what we're in. Um, so then, first of all, we'll need to open our standard assets, our character controllers, and drag on the first person controller. Then when he's in, we will zero him out on the X and the Z, but we'll leave his Y to a three. So now if we were to play this, he would just fall and you wouldn't be able to see anything that's happening because the whole, uh, the whole world would just be blue. Um, I'll just show you that. That's what it looked like. Um, so what we need to do is create a platform for him. So first of all, we'll just create a cube. We'll zero him out on all axes, and then we'll scale him 50 this way, and 50 this way, and 50. So if we zoom out, that's our new platform, and that's our character control. And let's say if we click this one here it'll toggle the light settings for the game on so as you can see that it's really dark at the moment so what you want to do is create a directional light and just change this to whatever intensity you like but I like it at 4 just for this at the moment so what we'll do is we'll play that and just see if everything's working so yeah that's our um, little cube island floor so that's that's everything working at the moment and if I were to just walk off I'd fall yet yeah. No, so there, that's all fine. So first off, we want to go back to our assets and create. Go into the scripts folder and create a new script, C sharp script. That's what we'll be working in. Call this one player health, 
and just double click that one to open it. And that should open and you'll just want to make sure this one says player health or whatever your script is called and we'll just create, first off create some variables at the top here. So we'll want them to be public because we want to access them through the inspector. Um, so we'll call, well there will be integers and we will call them current health and we just don't need to initialize that with anything and then just another public integer of maximum health and yeah so we'll actually just make that equal to a hundred and we'll in start we will um, set our current health to equal our maximum health just close that one so now our as our maximum health is equal to 100 and as soon as we start when if when this script is activated um, our current health will equal to maximum health so then we don't need this update function but we do need a um, the GUI function so just void and on GUI and what you'll need to do is Go to well, would this be displaying a box that changes um, the um, variables, the length of it as the health changes? So what you want to do is go GUI dot box and just close that off. And this one is so how to do this is just go new rect and then and clo close that off. So inside here we are doing the uh, left position, start or left. So we'll start ten pixels in and then we'll go 10 pixels down then the width will be um, actually we'll go back straight up to here and we'll create a variable um, public we'll just create it public for now um, integer and we'll create this health bar like that float because we'll have um, decimals in that so float as um, health um, we just got HB length. Yeah. And that's that. So, and the start one will also set that HB length. We'll equal that to the screen dot width divided by 2. So here we will call the HB length and we'll make the height 30 pixels so then just go here and we'll go current health um, and we'll add the a slash in the middle and then we'll go max health um, and that's that we'll just be back in one second Sorry about that guys, um, so, what's wrong here, for, oh, anyway, um, so, we're actually gonna change this to be equal to the, to change with the, um, properties of the health, so, to do that we're gonna create a new function, We'll make it public because we want, we want to be able to access it from other scripts. Um, we'll return nothing, and we'll call it um, change health, and then we will give it a variable called health, and we'll, yeah. So that's that function, and what we want to do is. Um, make that equal to HP length equal to screen dot screen dot width divided by two. Put those in brackets. Times that by put these in brackets, and it's current health divided by 
and we need to type cast this because it's as float because it's a percentage and then max health maximum health I believe it is um, so let's just try that one actually no we need to update we need to not update we need to put one in start and we need to call that change health and we'll sub at a variable of zero so we're not actually changing anything um, so let's see if that worked no errors click play and I didn't drag it onto the character again God. So drag this onto the character, drop it, and you'll see HP length and current health, and that should, yep. So if we change the current health to 50%, it does not work. Why is it not working? I'll be right back just to check that one. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So what was wrong was that it was in the start function. It needs to be in update, so it's always calling that. And then I also added this current health is equal to with the addition of the subbed in variable, so health. So if we get subbed in a negative variable, it'll take take that value away from the current health and subtract health and so forth. So I believe that one should work. We've got that and if we change the current health to 50 and that works perfectly so if we go down to 10 again 10 and we go to 0 we are not getting any errors so it's perfect and this this thing at the moment this um this graphical error we can't change that at the moment because it is due to that we're using this um gui.box instead of a uh, other things so that is that for now that's working fine and that's all for this um, episode I have to say um, yeah that's all for now sorry so um, hope you like the tutorial comment rate subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode bye